swellings and welcome to another stream um <coughs> i'm dying uh just a fair warning i don't really have any water so apologies uh that i cannot really redeem your hydrates or whatever but you have fair warning um you might hear some background noise very faintly from me today uh my mom is watching tv in the living room so Ooh. i feel like i've gotten a message Hold on. Swansorbus is questioning something. Swansorbus is no longer questioning something. Now, let me try to jump into an accent I haven't touched in lord knows how long. <coughs> Maybe one day I'll get rid of this cough. Well... The Empress has called me for something. I wonder what. I mean, the last time we kind of just, you know, had some casual discussion, all that. She could use a break. But this don't seem necessarily like a break to me. Then again, getting the Empress to take a break is like pulling teeth. Not necessarily used to seeing all these guard folk around these days. Although, given their color, and I'm pretty sure those aren't my folk. Oh lord. Now I've reminded myself that there's so many folk that I'm apparently in charge of. How did I go from being just a simple sheriff to all this? Well, if I don't do it, who will? Probably someone I wouldn't exactly favor. Any case, pretty sure this is where the Empress wants me to head, so... I see the receptionist isn't in today. Eh, yeah, she's expecting me. Guess I'll just head on in. Hello there, Sheriff Swanson. Greetings, Empress. I, I, I guess you received my message, huh? Yeah, I came over as soon as I could. Just take these boots off. There you go. Well, it's good that you came in here, but you didn't need to rush. It was no, no such emergency. It's actually something very interesting. I was looking through my little documents and found one of my to-do lists. Oh, I almost forgot to do it. Hope he isn't too mad at me. Anyway. You know how back then I was searching for a particular tree? I do think I recall you discussing that at some point. Well, I'll be happy to let you know that uh, I found it. Oh? Yeah, we found it um, way back when. And I, it simply didn't cross my mind until now that I had to go back to it. I need to finish writing up that story if we're going to make it, if I'm going to keep my end of the bargain. I see. Where is the... Ah, okay, here it is. Anyways, let's go. We have someone else we need to pick up. Oh, alrighty then. I brought, I brought you here because I needed you to see something. I figure you might enjoy a bit of <laughs> culture. A bit of culture? Well... Ah, yes. If you're going to be serving Haven, you might as well get to know the Greek myths that surround this place. Well, well, history now that you know that it's real. I have been doing my best to catch up on a lot of it, considering I never really got too much into Greek myths back in the old world, but... Gotta say, there's still a lot I don't know. Well, despite despite that, um, there is the library, and if you, and if you want to, you feel free to talk to me. Have you been I getting any rest, Empress? Oh, I have, yes. Don't worry about it. I just look like this because I ended up breaking that chain and staying up last night. Though it was most likely for research and I want to get everything ready before we do this. Anyways, we'll be up there. I don't think I've ever quite been up here before. 
Well, this belongs to the head researcher of the research and development center, so let's just knock on this door real quick. Uh, hello? Is... Uh, who, who's here? Oh, uh, Yuki, hi. Um, hello there. Uh, I... Uh, how can I help? Well, first things first, though. Do you mind if we come inside? It's really hot out. Uh, it's really cold today. Uh, yes, of course. My... Apologies there. Um, yeah, I... Is there any anything I can do for you? Well, first, shut the door. Uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, right. I've I've actually, been slightly busy. I've almost made a breakthrough. I can so. see. I can. I cannot actually see that you haven't taken off your lab coat, silly you. You're still in it. Uh, yes. I uh, I was working on something downstairs, but now's not the time for that. I I assume. Well, uh, no. How can I help? Well. Actually, do you know your Greek mythology? I can't say I do. Hmm. I've mostly well, been interested in science. I, yeah. But you are. I'm, I'm. I hope you are not a non-believer, though. Uh n n no. I I've talked. I've talked with Justin many times. Um, and ah. I know of your heritage, and I know of his heritage. Do you know Swanson's heritage, though? Are you what? aware of Swanson? I think I've only met her once. Ah, uh, you've only met Swanson once. Okay, that's good. Anyways, let's go. Uh, Alrighty then. Do you mind telling me where we're going? Or what, um, I need what we're you doing? To, I need you to investigate something, and who else but... I would have called on another researcher. For this, however, I feel like you should be involved with it most of all. Oh, uh, I, I, I see. Um, There's something I want to test out. Uh, there you go you again, Ambrose. Including me. <laughs> I guess. Oh, so, I'm simply just how you should say playing around. Oh, uh, I, I, I see. Anyways, but yes, I do need you, Swanson, because I need you to set up a perimeter over there. I don't want anybody harming it. Well, her, I should say. Hmm. Well, that's one thing I at least know how to do. And I feel like you'll enjoy this. I'll trust you on that. I do then. have. I I do have to ask. Where are we going? You'll see, you'll see soon. Don't worry. You really gonna It'll, leave this fell in the dark? Hmm. Actually, wait. Not this way. Not this way. Well. Oh. Okay. I just realized there's a shorter distance way of getting to it, so... We don't need this right. highway for this. How we do, however, need the exit. We're taking the other exit. I haven't been... I haven't really explored. Mm. So I, I, I don't exactly know where I'm going. It's probably going to be a Listen, I have no idea quite where the Empress has taken us either. So. Well, the thing is, I'm trying to be considerate of your fears. This is why we're not taking that exit. We're taking the long way around. I see. Right. Remember, one of the exits is underwater. I highly doubt oh. you would want to go through there. Oh. Yeah. Um. Um. Grab a boat. Don't worry, I'm not going to take you anywhere to your death. You haven't done anything wrong. Not like. Well, and I did agree with Swanson too. Well. Be more fair. I don't want to make the same mistake. Okay. Just follow me. You don't worry about it. Excuse me. Oh, oh. 
I'm I'm not too worried. I'm just a bit confused. This is quite an unorthodox um, r request. I'm not worried about it. I just, like I said, I just need to test something, and I feel like you would be the per perfect person for the job. Oh, very well. Being head yes. researcher as well. Um, Hopefully the gates open. I know that I asked that it to be modified. Ah, it, it is. <laughs> Do you two know of Apollo? Well, I've I'd... heard stories. I know of the name. Hmm. And I well, think I've heard Hermes talk of the fellow before. Ah, he's quite a lovely fellow. You'll you'll like him. Don't worry. Where we're going is very sacred. Let me just tell you. You two are not to touch anything unless I request it to be. Um, very well. Now I'm hoping I remember this right. But where we're going. That's the one thing we really needed some map of the whole world. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sort of cartographer or someone who knows at least a bit about cartography out there. You will have a villager that is good at cartography, so that might not be an issue. Well, somewhere around uh, these islands, if I can remember it right. I know it was by Italy. Uh, so tell me, while we're doing this, how have you two been? I, I don't know. I've, I've just been working. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really do much much else. Well, while my work days tend to well. The contents tend to vary, and they're very much the same. Hmm. How's the, uh, how's the Pastelli child doing? Oh, they're, they're working out pretty well. Um, honestly, they've surprised me in numerous ways. <coughs> I see. So it was a good idea that we, got, we recruited her. Okay, here, try to getting out now. Here we are. Um, it's a tree. It's very majestic, isn't it? It... I, I would say so. Something about it just doesn't fit right with me. But... Well, that's why I brought you here. See, this place is... This place is deserted and very sacred. It's actually protected by the gods. Okay. I need you to check its heartbeat. Uh, uh what? I didn't I'm, stutter, did I? I I'm I'm sorry, but it, it, uh, um, trees don't have hearts. I, I just just humor me. Check its heartbeat. I. Use the I... roots if you must. You'll feel something in there. A tree that would have a heartbeat? It's a favor I'm doing for a... for a god. Um... There's, it has a pulse, doesn't it? He, um... T surprisingly, <laughs> yes. Um... What the f- I- Welcome to this- n the new world's first ever living tree. I- I- This- this is strange, this is new, I don't- It's an actual breathing tree. It's- I- you, you, um- I- 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 I don't know anymore, I- 
Just give me one second. I, I need to have some. some I, I had some ideas. Do you two know the story of Daphne and Apollo? Well, mm. from the old world, it's probably <coughs> different. Which I'm trying to speculate which part of it is true or not. Though the part about her turning into a tree is probably true. Her turning mm -hmm. into... You're saying this is a fella? This is a fella, yes. I'm so confused. Basically, according to the myth, Apollo had a lover. Daphne. Uh, okay. And though the story takes a bit of a... Well, the story apparently said that while trying to escape him, she turned into a tree. But that part, I'm not entirely sure that's true. I mean... I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm, again, I'm not too... Um, what the mm. hell was that? Oh, that sounded like a voice or something. I... Hmm? Oh, there he is. Lord Apollo. Yeah. Uh, living? Breathing? Don't. Um... Swanson and Wyvern. Apollo, the god of the sun. And knowledge um, as well. He's the one who is giving protection to the Apollo's library. Hence why it's named after him. I see. Um I I'm I'm starstruck. You don't, need, you don't need to kiss the floor or bow that low. By the way, they don't like that. Just it's a living, talking. breathing god. Oh, well, it's nice to meet assuming you, too. It's your first experience. I've heard a bit about you it's from Hermes. Experience. Yes. Oh, well. The fellow's a good friend. I... By the way, um, if you've noticed he's not really talking, somehow you are hearing something. I you... don't exactly know how to explain it, but... He's not talking. He's not actually talking. Have you not haven't you noticed he's not moving his lips? I was wondering Some about that, of... but Some sort of telepathy. Don't, know, don't know exactly how he's doing it, but he's doing it. Tele telepathic? Emp empathetic? Hmm. Um I'm afraid I don't uh, know who that is. Oh, I, okay. My suspicions were correct then. I, I, uh, when I Justin, don't know. When I talked to Justin, I'll explain. When I talked to Justin, he basically pointed this out. You do, you do look oddly similar to him. See what I'm getting at? I, I, I don't. Huh. Um, you. Swanson, uh, I, I, I figured you might be able to piece this together. Yeah, I think I understand what what's going on here. Yeah, um, Wyvern is my name. I don't know what you mean by I go by Wyvern. Wyvern's my name. <laughs> Wyvern, look at him and tell me right now. He does look like you. I maybe that was some resemblance, but that, that's. that's you have the same brown hair. I'm ginger. Sorry, like, I'm semi-colored, but it's probably because I haven't slept last night. You have the oh. same colored hair, is what I mean. It's just a mutation of a gene. It's not, it's... I, I... <laughs> Sorry, but are you trying to say something here that... Because I'm not getting it. I think what this is mean? something for you to piece together yourself, fella. Who the hell is we? I'm... Look, I'm just, con I'm just confused. I'm... I... The, the 
the tree. You, you and the the tree. Daphne, the Daphne is what her name is. Daphne. Okay. Do you know why he's not talking? How the hell do you know that name? How the hell do you know that name? This is some joke. This is some sort of joke. What What did this you bring me here for? <laughs> I had a suspicion when Justin pointed it out that you do look like Apollo, and I kind of... Well, with your developments so far, actually. Especially your... Chemistry. And alchemy capabilities. It's far extraordinary than a normal researcher, so... It's... it's... N Stop calling me that. I swore off that name when I got here. Stop calling me that. I'm not Kane. This, this is, this is... Oh, God. I'm confused. I... I... You... Yeah. You're going into shock. Of course. <laughs> Your name is Asclepius. Is... Yes. Who the hell is Your that? Name... The god of healing, according to myths. I am not a god. I'm just a random bloke. Oh, that's I just... true. You're not a god. You're a god born. I don't get this. Asclepius. I don't. I, I, I don't get it. I don't. He's your father. To be joking, this this can't. The last time this I saw two the... fellas that had well, one fellow that had the same colored hair as a god, they turned out to be their child. I what? I, I don't know. I just things look good. They they look like they would work. They just look like they fit together. How do you know about that? Gods are all seeing and all knowing. Let me see that. That's actually actually. Let me see that. Let me see that. Give it to me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Of course. I've tried my hand at alchemy before. I haven't seen anything like this. I Look at this, Swanson. I made that. F I made that. Uh, why are you trying to give that to me? Just hold it and look at it. Just observe it. Look at the color. Well, the fellow there's saying only like a few it. people could hold it, and I'm not one to take risks. Are you saying like I'm that. the only one who can make that? I. This just seemed like right. All all the ingredients just fit together in the correct manner. Oh, okay. I've, I've tried making something sort of similar that way, and I couldn't. And I'm Athena, for God God's sake. Okay, this this is um, this is a lot of process. Um. My mind is going numb. I'm not do All doing right. too well. Don't... All right, do not pass out now. Look at me. What we're, I'm basically telling you is going to be the truth. This is your father, and this is unfortunately your mother. I'd phrase that last bit a little bit more carefully, but. Hi, I'm I'm gonna sit down for a second. Just just sit down right there. Just think about it. But <sighs> basically, what we're telling you is, you are a god boy. I don't. I Apollo, don't get this. What exactly happened to her? <laughs> if you don't mind, I did promise you I would finish her story. As to how it happened, but I can't know. 
I know something happened to her, but you don't need to tell me. I know that from experience.
tragedy. I'm assuming she was dying and you couldn't interfere. <laughs> hmm. That's what's disappointing about being a god sometimes. There are things you can't interfere with. This tree wasn't made by normal means, I'm guessing. It looks way too majestic for it to be a naturally grown tree. Hmm. Which gods were it? Was it? I figured. Figured the meter would be helping out. This tree looks. Ah, that one's understandable.
girl practically invincible, getting hurt is not really something you have to worry about. Ah, no wonder it wasn't taken. It should have been taken by Thanatos. And this is why this tree is, I'm assuming, why it's alive and breathing. Hmm, okay. I'm sorry you had to tell us this. It must be painful opening fresh wounds. Or rather, scars. I'm assuming this is the great tragedy. The great tragedy? I'm guessing it's what caused the world to reset. Oh, I see. I have a feeling we're not going to like that. We want to find out, but I feel like you well you can't basically tell us what it is, but the more I hear or well, whatever this count says. The more I hear God say that kind of stuff, it makes me think that somehow we were involved in it.
It's alright, Apollo. You don't need to go any further. We'll handle it from here. We'll figure it out if we have to by ourselves. Even if we don't like the answer, wisdom is power. Knowledge is power. And sometimes it helps despite the harm it may do. Wyvern, there's actually another reason why I brought you here. What, what, can, what can I do? There's a tale in Greek mythology of Asclepius being able to bring back people from the dead. <laughs> bring people back from the dead? Really? That's actually, that's actually something that he can do, apparently. And that's only my speculation, but basically Asclepius was known for being able to heal people so good that he was able to bring back somebody from the dead. Is there not a cost to something like that? It doesn't just Apparently seem like not. something... Though in the myth, he was punished by a god, I just forgot which one was it, for doing something like that, because it was unnatural, still. Ah, of course. You're talking about the physician's cure. Yes, you've heard of it, then. In my entire life's work, ever since I used the knowledge that I had from this book to create weapons, I decided to seek med to seek medical advancements. And well, every story I ever read pointed to something called the physician's cure, mm -hmm. uh, a, a medicine. So powerful, it could cure any ailment, including death itself. If you're asking me if I can make that, then no. no. I've tried and tried and tried and tried every single thing I've done, and it has never worked. You are his best bet. I'm asking you if you can. There's a reason. Well, why can't I make it? How the realm I grew up to know. There is no other realm. Science is science. Wait, wait. wait there is wait, no wait. outside the box. There is nothing. There are the laws. Things go together in certain ways. Wait, wait, you're not talking about... I don't know, they have always existed. You mean the creatures? Are you talking about the creatures? Whatever y'all are on about, I certainly don't get it. No, no, there's another realm. If Greek mythology is true in this realm, the, the passageway to the underworld is real then. Well, yeah. That's the only other realm I know of. We can't really go to Olympus because that's forbidden. We're, we're still mortals despite being godborns. So... I'm not a god. Who? Who is it? The, the, the goddess of magic. Magic? You can't be serious. You have a god literally sitting down in front of you, and you mean to tell That's... me that magic wasn't out of the realm of the possibility? Come on, there, there's, there's, there's an easy way of explaining a higher being, a being so so far evolved that they look like gods to us. Immortal. That's a thing I can understand, but magic? I believe in science. Not I understand that. mystical stuff. I understand that, but listen. You have to try. We have to seek her. That means going to the underworld, and that means looking for it. Swanson, we're going to have to look for that, and I need you to use every royal guard that we have to search for this. Yeah. 
that can according do that. According to what, according to what Hades told me, the entrance is actually close to home. So search around Haven. All right. I've been made into taller world I... guard maiden soon anyway. I'll put them on that. You can also use the navy fleet. I'm... Because it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. Underwater, on land. If you must, you can... You can ask Captain Mint to assist you with the, her navy fleet. I'll be sure to get in contact with her too, then. Mm -hmm. right. Send a letter in if you must. I also want... I also want this place to be protected. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I know it's difficult to, well, widen your viewpoint when the things that you once knew aren't exactly correct anymore, but take some time to think on it and you'll eventually see that sometimes it does actually make sense even though it don't seem to. <laughs> that just sounded like nonsense anyway. I mean, at least you're trying. I don't. I you have I don't to try. Know Look at him. Look at him. He's taken literally taken an oath of silence because he can't move on. If she's alive in there, that means that if this drug was ever made, you can actually bring her back. Theoretically speaking. I don't even know her. I don't. <sighs> they are still your family. And my family. If, if you're my family, then why did you leave me on some doorstep as a child? A child? And you left me in the worst place I could have ever gone. They had to go back. I'm assuming. Haven't you noticed they can't stay here for as long as... If you're... You saw... It was supposedly also my dad. Wyvern, I know how you feel with in regards to parental abandonment. I think Swanson can also relate. Uh, what? Your parents, did you not know them? Or have you not gotten contact with your parents? Not even once, not even a subtle way of doing it. I don't know quite what you're on about. I had normal parents, Empress. They can't stay in the mortal realm. They get weaker as they stay longer. And fortunately for Apollo, he's the sun. Can you imagine what would happen if the sun went out? Or got out of control? That's why he can't stay. He's literally the one thing standing between us and imminent death. Which is why he had to leave. He's keeping the sun at bay from killing us all. Mm -hmm. I can forgive my father for leaving because he has duties. Um, yeah, Apollo? It's fun. You don't like... I'm assuming Apollo because of what happened. You don't like the interrupting rule that you were sworn into. The one where you can't interfere with mortals. I'm assuming you don't like it. Hmm. 
understandable. Knowing you can do something about it. You can't because you're under oath. Think of the oath as a co uh, contractual binding. It's like a dog on a leash. Once the dog uh, steps out of line, you pull on it, yes? It's like that for them. Mm. Ah, yes, I know about them. Nyx is also one of those. Well, for what it's worth, you're doing a well job, a well good job. When we find the Underrealm, well, the entrance to the Underworld, oh, I'm, I'm going to call on you, Wyvern. You're going to have to come with me. And you too, Swanson. I... The Underworld is not exactly sunshine and rainbows. I'm going to need the researchers to be there. To study it, we need to map it out. We're but we're going to be traversing through the land of souls, after all. Each level worse than the but better to the worst, I say. What is that? Some type of climb looking thing? Oh, fascinating. It's a Grecian drachma. These are ancient Greek coins that they used back then. I'm assuming this is the payment for the boatman. Wait, he's he a thing? His... You said his name was Kalaron, correct? Kalaron, yes, the boatman. The one that help will help us traverse through the underworld. I see. Hmm. I'm assuming this is only good for... Coins do not work on him, so it's hard to get to his. I'll keep this safely. I suppose we'll need one for each of us. If the three of us are gonna head down there once we find it. Me. I'm going to need you to bring the royal guards with you. One coin, one free passage. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it needs to choose wisely back, on who's going down there. Yes, exactly. I'm going to be 
Perhaps it's a two-way well, trip. Yeah, well, good for a two-way trip for one person, yes. We're going to need a lot of coins, then. Well, better start asking the other gods. Just one round trip down there. I've read about the underworld, and it's not exactly the... Oh. That's we'll be lucky. considered guests. We'll be considered guests when we get down there, but still. There are monsters and other creatures like the Furies, possibly, that might harm us. Because we're not exactly souls. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That is good. Not like I know how to deal with mythical creatures. <laughs> I'm sure I, I, you know, you're right. You wouldn't. Still, though, it's not exactly a bad idea to bring in more muscle, just in case. This month, and you're going to have to gather the royal guards. How many exactly do you want to? Bring with. Usually the ones with you. Take the usuals. Plus, maybe bring the Prestelli person. Alrighty. So, Lee, Evan. You get what I mean. Oh, um, a new member of the guard. A, a, a girl, 16, 15 years old. Why? Why do you ask? Night. All right then. Hmm. What was that, Wilson? Let me let me ask you one thing. A Apollo, Dad, would it, I still can't believe that. Do you know that? Do you know the the recipe for the cure? Could you at least t t tell me one of the ingredients, or am I in the dark? You mean the you mean the breath? Breath. Thing? I see. If you're Asclepius, that means that the ingredients, your knowledge on the ingredients, might come to you more naturally than usual. Think of Maybe. it as like an automatic instinct. That's just how I've been going. I see. Hecate will be your guide then. We'll need to search for her. The only other realm that I know that we can actually traverse is the underworld, which, given this drachma, you'll definitely need to come with me when I go down there. Very well. Bring any par any more researchers with you, whoever is interested in that expedition. House of Hades. Don't worry oh. about the other one. Don't, don't worry about them. The other researchers, they're busy on their own things. I know that, but still, you know, not exactly it's bad for others to have this experience. It's an experience of a lifetime. Knowledge is something that you need in your division. Thank Don't you, you Uh, 
I'll write it as soon as I get to Haven. On the bright side, we know another god born. I guess you do. Let's see if I manage to actually do it. Of it this way, if you do manage to do it, and I have faith that you will, think of it that will, it will be our greatest achievement. Written down in the history books. It's a lot of pressure for one person. It is always a pressure when you're a godborn. We're already expected to do a lot of things. almost like we're almost standing with them when it, when it comes to responsibility. Ours is much lesser than theirs, but still the burden is great. Well, it's not like Godborns can see everything. I'd say God's got still a lot more on their plate in that matter. Well, that's cryptic. See. Um, I'm going to stay here a little longer. Do you want to bond with him? I'm not certain. I just need some time and there's something I just need time for my brain to wire, and I don't really feel like going home right now. It's alright, but piece of advice. My family never bonded, well besides Justin. They never really bonded with me. I suggest you take this as an opportunity. You will regret it, I swear. Maybe you another have... time. You have parents that are that love you at the very least. We're probably gonna go off, Swanson. You are you coming? Yeah, um Wyvern, if you ever need to talk, my door is always open. And I know this feels weird to offer to a god, but same to you, Apollo. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. May Hermes guide us. Well, that was interesting. I see your little guessing game is right once again. <laughs> well, when you base things on facts and clues... You can get pretty far, yeah. I know. I had to actually think about this one. It was actually a lot harder to find, but then as soon as I remembered what Justin told me, that he looked awfully similar to Apollo, it gave me some thought. I thought it was just a random comment, but... Well... It wasn't. I'm glad it wasn't. That should be all nine. There's no use pretending anymore, is there? No. I already know. And I, I remember specifically that you told me 
about this, though I'm not entirely sure if you did. I never told you. I didn't want you to know, or anyone, in fact, to know. Hell, I thought I'd been doing a pretty good job of hiding it. It's not like I've been showing anything exemplary or anything. Then again, Tell it's me, not though. exactly like some of the gods are very good at not mentioning the fact. Uh, I suppose if it's only one here. fella I asked not to tell, so... Well, for what it's worth, if you would like, we can swap information. To keep things fair, let's say. If you tell me your, what, um, what you have so far, what you've seen so far, I'll tell you mine. What exactly do you mean by seen so far? We're pretty much caught up on who we suspect to be godborns. I mean, powers-wise, have you not been showing off any new powers? That's... Abilities? Even minor, like, it could be nonsense, but, you know. I don't like mentioning it, and I'm not necessarily sure I want you to know. There's a reason why I decided to keep all this stuff hidden. Because I didn't want being a godborn to change things. It won't. Ah, uh, but do it is does. Just let me know things. It does change things. Ever since I, I came here, yes. my power or whatever doesn't let me be normal anymore. So has mine. Well. You've earned your loyalty, I'll just tell you. Feel free to tell me yours, if not, that's fine. I've been able to strategize whenever I look at something. It's like an instinct. Imagine looking at a map and knowing exactly what to do with your army. You can see multiple instances of certain probabilities. Probability of them running away, you have a plan for it. Probability of them attacking, you know how to defend for it. That's what I can do. I've noticed that whenever I look at maps. Fun. I suppose there's not much... It's good you know for of the, the upcoming fates. war, though. Hmm? The yes, fates in the mythology. They're in my head. I hear them. Pretty much constantly. They tell me things, give me advice, prophecies. Oh. That makes sense, considering you're Phoebe. You even knew my name? I kind of guessed, as soon as you said fates, mm. Phoebe is the oracle. Phoebe is like an oracle goddess. You're and a titan I goddess I thought they well. were obscure. When you read a lot of these books, you tend to know a lot of things in instantly. In any case... You know that person, that fellow, Farron, or whatever their name was? Yes. I knew they were going to die. The fates told you that. Not exactly. I just knew someone would die. I got a prophecy and... First I was worried that it was going to be you or Justin. I shouldn't have had to worry. But then there was something odd. See... Sometimes with these prophecies... It's fine. It's normal. You know, I eventually figure out the meaning, for better or for worse. But then, that time when they died, it caused me pain in the worst way imaginable. What changed? I don't know, but I suspect that maybe things didn't go as they were supposed to. That somehow what was originally written changed. Because the way it sounded oh, yeah. sounded like someone royal, someone in a position of power like you or Justin. 
Sounded like you were meant to kill him. Stayed. I see. It wasn't you. I suspect All right. that the price of my knowledge is that if something is to change, I suffer for it, whether it was by my hands or not. That doesn't explain a lot of things. That's certainly why I was so what? out of it that night. I'm guessing if certain things don't come true as they should, it creates an alternate... You go, on, go down the alternate path, which probably that sort of change, because your brain is probably processing the new information is probably why it's hurting. It's kind of like stuffing a lot of... Imagine your head being like the jar. Imagine stuffing a bunch of candy in there and then suddenly... You have to refill more. It's going to overflow, yes? Certainly. Yes, that's probably why you are having a headache. I'd call it more of a migraine. Mm, it's that painful, huh? I passed out at Beantopia or whatever you call it. I didn't make it home that night. <laughs> whatever the case, I don't want others knowing about it. Bad enough Relics that- will be sealed. Bad enough that two people know about this now. Don't worry. As I've promised my allies, I'm not going to do anything. It's not necessarily that I think you'll do something with it, although I'm certainly sure you could. It's more so, I don't necessarily know if I'd like being Phoebe. I don't know if I like what it brings. Because knowing people's fates, randomly, without my consent, and then being faced with the fact that I either know someone will die, or something horrid will happen, like the fire. And being unable to stop it so far. That's the, that's the burden of being a godborn. Well, you could say you maybe have... slightly I understand what them gods feel when they know everything. Sure, it's not to the same scale, but... Most people aren't burdened with knowing their fate. We'll keep this hush-hush, because knowing humanity's history on people being able to see into the future, it's not exactly good. It's not like I can do it on command or anything right now. Don't I'm know if I'd even it want to. I'm assuming it, they, all, they whisper to you in terms of what you're doing at, as of the moment. They're talking to me right now. Not all of it's prophecies, sometimes they just talk to me. Right now, one of them is scared of you. I can understand that my feet so far hasn't necessarily been the brightest and sunshiniest manner. It's not exactly positive. Well, you had a man killed, so... That again, yeah. I didn't do anything to stop it, so... You could've, but you just didn't. I wouldn't blame you, though, if you did actually try to stop it. I won't lie. I figured that'd get me killed. You are the least person I would want executed. I've come not to take risks. Because in the long run, if I'm dead, who's gonna look out for the rest of the them folk? Because let's be honest, a lot of idiots here want to die by the way they're acting. And if well, I die, I can't exactly humanity. save them anymore, so... True, but that's, I guess, that's what, that's the flaws of humanity. It's just part of being human, you will do things that doesn't really make sense sometimes. Which is why I don't really act according to emotions. I'm trusting you with this logic now because simply because it's more of a strategic advantage. 
I used to take things more logically. But now I have second opinions all in my head telling me things and... Oh, it's hard not to get emotional. Well, despite everything, whatever the fates tell you, still it's up to you to decide what to do with it. Think of it as like just giving you advice. You can simply ignore it or choose to do something about it. Ever since I got here, ever since I joined this whole society, my morals haven't exactly been holding up. It was simple. In the old world, I knew exactly what to apply them to. It was set in stone. There were set systems in place and all of that, but now we're here on the verge of war. I have voices in my head. I thought I was insane. You're not insane. Well, it's starting You're to feel just... like I'm gonna go insane. Cause hell, people are bound to die if we go to war. People are going that. to die. And there ain't anything I can necessarily do about it. And even if I decide to ignore these fates, if I get a prophecy about someone's death, like I did before, that's on my conscience. Hell, I'm already gonna go to Tartarus or some shit for all I've done, but... I don't think so. It's not exactly wise to put a godborn in hell. If I don't... I don't care if I'm a godborn and that if it ain't wise or whatever. If I deserve to be punished, then I deserve to be punished. There ain't nothing about it. Being a godborn just means I had interest in parents. That's why I don't like all of this. Suddenly everything I understood knew. Well, it's all kind of thrown out the window now, ain't it? Because now I know things that I didn't before. I have knowledge I didn't before. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. Um, I can sort of relate. Being the goddess of wisdom, the godborn of wisdom and war strategy, the entire circumstances of the war will rest on what I do. In terms of strategy, we could lose a lot of people, or none at all, but that depends on what I do. That's why things have to go as planned with me. I want to make sure that there's the least amount of casualties. I simply find it ridiculous that people that not too long ago lived lives in cities, had office jobs, whatever the hell. I never used to picked be, up I used a blade. To have a small clinic. <laughs> now suddenly we're all here ready to tear each other apart with blades and arrows and fire. Hopefully the war doesn't come to it. But still, retaliation must be met with a response. I promise you though, when we find them they will not be killed on the spot. They will be taken to prison as what we agreed upon. Well, I agree that, that unnecessary... No problem. But I, I agree that unnecessary bloodshed is really... Well, unnecessary. So... Might as well just imprison them for being, you know, starting this whole ridiculous conquest of wanting me off the throne? Well, that's what would have been done in the old world. History has certainly taught us a lot of things. People that they don't agree with to rule will most likely be, well, met with a revolution. Of people who disagree. I'm gonna head back to Talon Peaks. You do that. I have to go to the library and fulfill my duties to Apollo. Yeah. A boon is a boon. Take care, Empress. You too.
too smart for her own good sometimes, but hell. Gods don't necessarily get the choice in having to see everything. Yeah. She did. I wonder if any of them would have preferred to live mortal lives without the burden of having to know it all. Some people are probably better cut out to be gods, and I can say that I'm probably not cut out to be a godborn. At least. What am I saying? Swanlings, it's me, Swan Sorbrus. Thank you for following. <laughs> I I never said that I didn't necessarily like myself or anything, and I do appreciate y'all. I mean, yeah, at first y'all kind of made me think I was insane and worried me a whole bunch until I figured it out, but even if I struggle with all this stuff that I now have to know and deal with. I don't think I could go back to how I used to live, even if I had the option or the choice to be free of all of this. I... I guess I just find it ironic. And I suppose this incident's left me a bit sadder too. I mean, that makes it, what, two godborns now that I've seen meet their parents again? Or meet their parents? I ought not to feel jealous, but... I haven't even heard from my father, or... Even seen my mother, necessarily. I mean... I guess my mom is kind of the earth, so I guess that's... I haven't been able to have a conversation, I suppose, with her is what I mean. And I know I gotta take what I'm given. Life ain't fair and it ain't a whole bunch of things, but... I suppose life's got to be what I make it, but oftentimes these days I feel like life's making something of me and I'm not making something of life. Although, I guess Wyvern and I are a bit more similar than I thought. I don't really know the fellow well, but... I guess they don't necessarily go by their name either. <laughs> Perhaps I should get to know them more. And, well, I'm pretty sure that fella can put together that I too am a godborn. I mean, it's not like Apollo or Yuki or any of them were necessarily subtle. Well, at least I got Pistelli to train. I've always found it better to keep my mind off things if I'm working. And again, I should make sure I get some sleep soon. I'll be useless if I'm dead on my feet. I 
um, I probably need to be taking more direct action. I mean, hell, we're getting no closer to getting that insurgency. Who knows what idiotic things they're going to try to think to do next. If they'll talk to me, I think I certainly need to have a talk with them. I'd prefer if it was still hidden, but... Yeah, you're right. There ain't much I can do about it now. But now she could start incorporating that kind of stuff into her schemes if she so desired. And Lord knows she'll think of me differently now. They may say that it changes nothing, but to know that someone is a godborn and has powers and their parents are gods, it tends to change the way you consider things a little bit. Some things might have more consequences than others, and, well... I just want to be Swanson. A simple Sheriff Swanson, not a captain, not anything like that. Not Minerva, not Phoebe. I just wanted to be Swanson. But I... I'll take what I'm given. Although I could certainly do with less water around here. I swear every time I've been meeting with the Empress, there's always something to do with water! So... Lord, I... It's hard not to feel like I'm constantly on edge when I'm surrounded by water 24-7. But, I don't know. Apollo mentioned my mom's name. wonder if they knew her. I mean, surely all the gods knew of each other and probably spoke. I just... I don't know what they were like as gods. I mean, they were there for, of course, parts of my childhood. I mean, I became pretty independent early on, so... If they were gone for periods, I didn't really notice it too much. There goes the fucking server. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, we've crashed, folks. Alrighty. Pretend we're heading into my house right now. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get to meet him, I guess, or have a conversation with him. I guess that's kind of hard when they're the little, literal earth and sky, but... I mean, surely if... I mean, if Wyvern somehow manages to revive his mom and meet them, I mean... Surely it wouldn't be impossible to, to see my parents. I miss the times when things were simpler. I'm gonna get some rest now, y'all. Um, you lot take care of... Lord knows I'm a mess. Well, at least I have an excuse to work with the captain now. We gotta search for that entrance to the underworld and all that. Hey, I suppose I can try to help Wyvern get to see his mom someday. I mean... At least letting the fella have a chance to get to know his family if he so wants. That's something I think he deserves. Good night, fellas.
And that will be all for this stream. Let me give her the ending screen. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, night. Um, existence is pain. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, y'all.